Hi guys, I will present to you what a content bug is. My name is Tony, I'm 29 years old, I'm from Germany and I'm a team leader at Test.io. So let's get started. What is a content bug? It is quite hard to say what a content bug is when not saying it is related to content of the website or an app. But this definition just uses the same words again. So let me try it differently. It can be understood as the parts of an app or a website that are manually created for you from the guys maintaining this app or website. For example, the homepage of an online shop. The images and text provided are created manually and therefore are mostly content, unlike the product list, which contains mainly the product data. Or for an app, the news app is a good example. The written individual news are content as they are done one by one manually. Let's have a look at some examples I prepared for you in the Test.io Academy. Here you can see a broken image, a single broken image. So this is obviously a content bug. The next example, you see the headline is saying functional bugs but all the content is about content bugs. So this is a not matching text and therefore a content bug. A missing translation is as well a content bug. Here you can see that some parts of the article are not translated and are in German, whereas the whole article is in English. So obviously this is a content bug. Another example is an empty area which should normally be filled. Here you can see there is a list but you can't see the text so obviously there should be content but it isn't so this is a content bug. And last but not least when one single information is missing you can see this is a content bug. So all of those smileys do have a tooltip but this one doesn't so you can raise a content bug for this one. Let's sum it up. We have seen several examples of content bug. A single broken image, a not matching text, a missing translation, an empty area that looks like it should be filled normally, or a single missing information. There are as well typical content bugs in online shops. Example number one is a missing tooltip on an image and all the other images do have tooltips. This is similar to what we just have seen with the smileys at the end of the article in the academy. Number two is an image showing women's wear, but it is linking to men's shoes. And number three is an image showing women's wear, but having a button saying buy men's shoes now. As we understood what a content bug is, it is also important to understand what is not a content bug. To make it easier to distinguish content bugs from other bugs, I will show you now some bugs that are no content bugs. Typos, as you can see here, are no content bugs. If there is a typo somewhere, please do not report it as a content bug. At Test.io there is a specific bug type for typos, but most test cases run without. Content bugs, which block functionality, should be reported as functional bugs. Here you can see the content is missing, like the headlines. But due to this, I'm not able to open this article. So please report something like this as a functional bug. An example for a critical bug in an online shop would be a missing text on the add to basket button, which makes the button so small that it can't be clicked anymore. So please report something like this as a critical functional bug and not as a content bug. Obviously dummy text should not be reported on staging systems as a content bug. Like the famous lorem ipsum text you can see here. But as well texts like I am a button or test. This is only for staging systems. A staging system by the way is the system the customer uses to test their new features or contents on. You can identify if it is a staging system of them in the test description. 
and it cannot be reached normally most times. Means you need to know the URL and you cannot Google for it or you need to use the test IO proxy to be able to reach it. Or it might be secured with a password. Or you can easily see it of them in the URL as you can see it here. So if you find a dummy text on a staging system, please do not report it. On a live system, you are absolutely free to report such dummy text as content bugs. Also for sure, please report such bugs when the customer explicitly asks for dummy text bugs on their staging system. As well only for staging systems, please do not report empty pages or missing content. Here in the academy example you can see an empty article. In an online shop it could be an empty help text or a missing category or an empty category. For sure here as well on live systems you can report this as a content bug. Let us sum it up what is not a content bug. Typos are no content bugs. Content bugs which block functionality should be reported as functional bugs. Content on staging which is, which is obviously a dummy text should not be reported and missing content on a staging system should as well not be reported. Let's have a look at content bugs at test.io. They are an own bug type. Other bug types you already might know are functional bugs, visual bugs or usability suggestions. Content bugs need to be enabled explicitly from the customer and most tests run without having content bugs enabled. Content bugs only need a screenshot, as functional bugs most times need a screencast. There is one special thing with, re with reporting content bugs. They should only be reported once, even if it is a repetitive error and even if it's not a systematic error. And for sure, systematic problems, as always, should only be reported once. So, when should I report a bug only once? Let's have a look at some examples again to make it easier to understand what a repetitive bug is. If the same problem occurs multiple times at the same place, it is likely to be a repetitive error. For example, a lot of images in FAQ are broken and when the problem happens at the same page, it is likely to be a re repetitive problem. With one bug report, the customer will see the other problematic parts anyways, so there is no need to report it different times. Another example might be the image slider at the landing page, most times at the top of the home page. The slider has four images, and all four images linking to the same page. One bug saying all links linking to the same page is totally enough. And to say it generally, when there is a problem in one element, there is no reason to report multiple bugs. Let us have a look at a third example. If there are a lot of broken links from the content page and all of those 404 end with .com and all working links end with .de. The broken link is changed from .com to .de and it is working, it is probably a systematic error. There is an error within the URL and link and you don't need to report those broken links one by one. Last but not least, if you can see a system behind the problem, it is a systematic error. Let's summarize. When should I report a bug only once? If the same problem occurs multiple times at the same place or if you see a system in the problem. The question of more interest for you might be when can I report several bugs? If a similar problem occurs multiple times at totally different places, you can report several bugs. For example, if it occurs at the home page and in the service content and two different images are broken, for sure you can lock multiple bugs. Or if there are different links linking to wrong content or are broken, 
but not systematically. Also, you have always a good backup. If you are not sure, just ask your team leader for a short feedback before reporting tons of bugs.